Uh, so our last presenter, Cheryl Hill, uh, I met in this room maybe six months ago or so at a, at a uh, similar event, business networking event. She's here to talk about uh, protecting our students abroad, <clears throat> which is a very interesting story about a nonprofit that she's starting. It's not an easy story, but it's a interesting story. It's a good story, a story that uh, I thought should be told. Uh, but I did put it last because I wouldn't have wanted to follow this story if I were one of the presenters. So uh, with that, uh, Cheryl Hill, protect our students abroad. On your tables, on your centerpieces, are a brochure so that you can take our words home and chime in to become part of our tribe. My story is candid and it is provocative. For me, the best job in the world is being the mom of Tyler and Alec, and the host mom of eight exchange students for more than 12 years. When our son Tyler had the opportunity to go abroad, we wanted to give him the world. Our story is an eye-opener. Barely 16, our son Tyler, an honor student, a leader, and a role model, an MVP on a U19 rugby team, died on a people-to-people -people student ambassador trip to Japan. His death was 100% preventable. We did not know that no laws protect our kids when they go abroad. Invisible students are students like my son Tyler. You do not know the safety record of the program you are trusting with your child. No one knows. There is no mandated transparent public reporting. We have been asking the US Department of State for death records for the past two years. We have nothing yet. We founded Clear Cause because we wanted to help. We could fix it or we could live with it. We wanted to do more. We need laws to protect the welfare and health and well being of our children, our future. Michelle Obama speaks for 100,000 Strong. 100,000 Strong is a very exciting initiative encouraging your kids to go abroad, build relationships, and expand in this global economy. 100,000 Strong must become 100,000 Stronger. 183,000 United States students studied abroad last year. Most come back safe is not good enough for me. They should all come back safe. Our vision is zero preventable deaths and injuries in an industry held to the highest standards. These are our best and our brightest, especially in the big business of study abroad. The World Youth Student Travel Confederation invites you to tap into this lucrative $183 billion industry that investigates itself. We would never, ever allow our child behind the wheel before they had a permit, driver's ed, they knew the road conditions, the warnings, they had a safe vehicle, insurance, and laws to protect them. Our kids often do not know how to advocate for themselves when their trips go bad. Most of us don't know. I'd like to help you know. Before you go abroad, you should go to travel.state.gov and register your trip. There you will find warnings and alerts, like this current one in Venezuela. These warnings will help you decide whether you should travel or not. You will also find there the emergency three-digit number in the country you're visiting. It is not 911. Travel insurance is not optional. It can cost more than $50,000 to bring your child home when the horrible happens. A trip to a travel clinic is necessary three to four months before they travel to learn about health risks. Vaccinations can take three to four months to incubate to become effective. You will need an active passport and money to get to your child if they need you. You will also need a power of attorney because of FERPA and HIPAA rules, especially if they're old for than 18. Important documents like health records, credit cards, and driver's licenses should be posted online in the cloud. Who is really your child going abroad with? Is it the big 10U or is it Ruby and her relative? Is Ruby and her relative on VIN USA certified for hostile territory? If not, why are 15 of our Minnesota students residing in Venezuela 
weeks after the US Department of State evacuated Fulbright scholars. Fast forward to Costa Rica. This is a big program. This kid was robbed at gunpoint. They took everything. That program shoved a waiver under that kid's nose when he asked for help. You are not going to get your credits, your money back, or your graduation, and good luck getting home because you are on your own. What would your child do? These are our awesome ideas. We want to create crowdfunding to give students what they want, money to go abroad, so that we can push to those students what we want, risk and safety mitigation and education. When they come back, we want to ask those students to rate their study abroad, student reviewed a program accreditation. We have published an app called Save Our Students. It's on iPhone and Android. It has GPS location and emergency contact notification. It has a follow me feature and it alerts your student to the three digit number in that country. It has been tested all over the world. It's free. We have also published ASAP, a student abroad preparedness plan, 50 checkpoints pulled from hundreds of sad stories to help you know before they go. We also provide Stu Card, affordable trip insurance for your student before they go. It provides a 1-800 emergency toll-free number to help them with the translator. So Clear Cause Voices is a module on our website allowing you to easily send a letter to your state and federal policymakers to engage in our conversation. We are so grateful and thankful for Senator, for Representative Seltzer and Senator Bonoff for the first, first bill in the world to put the count in higher ed accountability. How can you help us? We need your voice. Please send a letter to your policymakers and support them. We want you to chime in on social media and share our messages. People need to know what we know. You can volunteer your time and talent, and you can sponsor your brand on our award-winning work. We need your financial support. Please give generously. Our award-winning work is made possible by these amazing companies. We have award-winning Telly and Emmy public service announcements on cable televisions. We are recognized as good stewards with a GuideStar Exchange gold participant. It's time. What will you do? Will you fix it or will you live with it? We support 25 families whose children are dead. They had a great time, but they're just as gone as if they didn't. Safety means the world to our kids when they go abroad. Our kids mean the world to us. And is there, there is not enough gratitude in these words. Thank you. Rick Bremakomsan, Arigato, Gozamashta.